Hi everybody and welcome back to Lundy's Wildcam Stroke Bushcraft. And as you can see, I'm back up with me permission up in Holt Whistle area and it's been a very long time since I've been here. Um, 
way before the start of all the lockdowns and all this COVID malarkey. So I thought it's about time I got my backside back up here and sit and have a proper chilled out camp. So that's what I'm planning tonight. So it's going on to nearly oh, it's quarter to seven at night. I didn't get away from Newcastle uh, until late, obviously because of work commitments last night and also waiting for things at home to get sorted before I could leave. So as you can see, I've already showed you as putting it up and a quick walk around. So now I'll give you a quick guide tour. Um, I've brought me my little wood burning stove with this. I've got a, a bag of char, um, barbecue stuff in there. So I'm going to have a little barbecue later on. I've got that bit of wood down on the floor there because I've just went and cut a branch off over there on a fallen bit of tree just for the back end. But you've seen around there, so let's have a quick look inside. Let's put yours down. So as you can see, move this back a little bit. Sorry about this. As you can see, I've got me my new sleeping mat. Uh, sleeping pad, sorry, I'm getting all tongue tied here. Yeah, I think I need a logger, that's where it is. Got my new pad there, my ultralight um, sleeping bag. It's a, it's not a down one, this is a synthetic one. Uh, I can't remember which kind it is again. It is, let's, let's check this in and have a look. Uh, it is a Van Gogh ultralight 600. I'll probably not need it, it's absolutely red as. At the minute, the temperature is about 18 degrees okay so i like bringing that out so i know the proper temperature yeah so obviously back in the baker tent i bought all my little supplies that i want to use tonight there everything that i don't really need but is stored away nice and neatly there i love this baker tent because the simple fact is there's loads of room in it i've got a nice ventilation i've sorted out the back end as you can see it's all raised nice now because i've done the pool at the back uh, which I didn't do on my first time of using this. I've got a bit of a sag in the in the top there, like, but I think that's because the light's on. But I'm not really bothered about that, to be quite honest, because I'm not really sitting under it. And then, obviously, because I'm chilling out, I've brought me OEX chair and my little lightweight table. I've just purchased one of these, because I've seen so many people using them, and I thought, I'm going to get one of these. It's the um, Firmarest Z-Lite. So I'm just, I've cut four bits off to use as a kneeling pad and also for a sitting pad when I go ultra, ultra light. And uh, I'm going to, I'm going to have a night out just on that pad alone to see how comfy they are. See if they're, they're rated to what people say. But that'll be for another video coming up in the next month, I think. I'm planning on doing a minimum kit again. Um, so we just have to wait for it because I'm, I'm actually hoping to get out with minimum kit in bad weather uh, so I want to try and test myself a little bit like all right so we're heading off down to the be uh, to the beach <laughs> well it is it's a little bit of a beach but as it, obviously as you can see the cows get yeah sometimes as well um we we'll have our cows up the top end there so I'm just hoping they don't come right down here today that's why I've stayed away from the top end where I normally camp but as you can see, there's bits of dead fallen tree and all that, so I might cut a couple of the little small limbs off and put them onto the barbecue later on just for a bit of ambient smoke. Um, and there's loads of bits and pieces lying around under here. I was actually thinking about bringing my hammock up and hammocking under here next to the river. But uh, I decided to do the baker tent again. So yeah, I've got my camouflage bag just down there in the water. So, hopefully one of them's going to be nice and cool. So let's get me, me bag out without us falling in the river. See, all I've done is, I've just put a rock on top of it, tied it in a knot. And I'm just going to leave them in here while I drink one of them and this is going to be like my rubbish bag and everything as well because it's going to be saturated in the morning but yeah it just stops it floating away doesn't it there we 
my gun. Can I still act? Wah! Happy days. Oh, that's a slippy rock. Right. Yeah, so I'm just going to use me little sweat rag that I normally use when I'm walking. It's just to clean down the can. Yeah, nice and dry. A little pot belly there. Yeah, so anyway, what I've done is I've raised this canopy up so I've got plenty of headroom for sitting on this side and it's lowered right down on the other side just in case there's any rain so it gives it a nice runoff. And obviously it'll run off nicely at the back there as well. So yeah, out for a, a nice little solo. I don't even know if I'm in shot there. Nice little solo. Just sit here and relax. It's lovely and quiet up here. I've seen three people on me walking, which isn't a very far walk to be quite honest. It's only about what, less than half a mile, if that, to be quite honest. So anyway, I'm sitting here on the river. Saturday after, well, it's a Saturday tea time now, well, evening. I'll get, away, get there in the end, won't I? Bloody hell. Yeah, and uh, I released me camping video with Rooney uh, up in the, the Valley of Doom this afternoon at 12 o'clock. I, I normally do them at uh, 6 o'clock on a Sunday. I think I'll go back to that because the views, the views aren't that good, like. So, no, wait. Cheers, everybody. It's quarter to eight at night, so I think it's about time I got my barbecue on the go. So inside this bag here, obviously I've kept it in a dry bag just in case it rained when I was walking in. Um, and then I'll use it's in a carrier bag, which I'll use for rubbish. And I've just got some of these coals that I've got from, from Asda. I've to be quite honest, I bought about four bags of them about a year ago, so they've been sat in underneath for like an overpass in my garden, so I'm, I'm just hoping they still work all right. And anyway, what we'll do is we'll take the grill off, and I think all you do is you take the main bag out, put that in, and then you just set fire. to the bag. Oh. Let's just get me fire kit out. I should have got me lighter out first, like I'm positive I've got a lighter in here. Somewhere. There's a light. Oh, thank God for that. Right, all we're gonna do is And set fire to the, to the bag life. Obviously it'll be a, a panny flame for the start off with. And obviously you've got the coals inside. It'll catch light, and once all that's come down a little bit, I've got the grill on. It's a little bit warped this since the last time I used it. Right, so anyway, the barbecue's on its way, it's still a little bit flamey, alright, but what I'm going to do is, I went and bought a packet of sweet barbecue chicken drumsticks, obviously come, come from out the freezer this morning, 
but I think this is going to be a messy job. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my barbecue snip things. I'm just going to start placing some of these on the barbie. He's going to have a barbie with Sheila and the kids. <laughs> We're going to tie a kangaroo down, sport and all that, yeah. So I think I'll have four of them on for now. How many we've got left? One, two, three. Ah, oh, I might as well just cook the lot, eh? Right, anyway, let's just cook the lot. So I'm a big lad, you know. So we'll get these cooked. Loads of sauce in that bag. Let's get our lead into the sauce. There we're going. And we'll just leave them stuck up like that. That's just rubbish. That can go in the courier bag. What I've done is I've brought me a little plate. I've got me blush little knife, where is that I've got off. My pal Chris, the Northumbrian. This is called the uh, Cecil. I've got some peppers. I'm not going to use them all because I've got loads of chicken there. So, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to hide all the stuff on the floor because it'll all go out for the animals later on. There's loads of rabbits around. Alright, hiding loads of seeds on the floor is probably not going to help us like. But all I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut that in four. served it's it's rather a char grill than anything else I've had two of the chicken drumsticks and as you can see they're cooked really nicely all right nice and tender still hmm lovely I'm not gonna sit and eat all this on camera all the mushrooms and all that cooked nicely A little bit of seasoning on there would have been nice, but I left it on the kitchen bench at home. So I'm absolutely devastated. But I'm sure it'll get washed down nicely with a nice can of Stella. And then later on, I'm going to sit after this, because I've only brought two cans. And I'm going to sit and have a nice Jack Daniels and Coke. The midges have just started coming out now. I'm devastated, because there's, there's loads of them, obviously. I'm right next to a river. So, and anyway, I think what I might do is I might sit closer to the stove it's got a nice smoke coming off it and that'll keep them away from us but anyway as you can see i've got one on me can i've got off your little bugger anyway cheers everybody i'm gonna get this food down my neck and uh i'll catch us later on
Right, well, it's quarter past nine. I've had all my food. Um, I've got a pan of water on the go just to wash my dish and that and clean the grill off a little bit. So I've put a bit of wood on there. I've chopped loads of wood up. I'll just spin these around so you see. I've just chopped all that up. I didn't bring it along because everybody knows how to cut a bit of wood up and then split it with a knife. So I've just uh, I've just had a lad pull over and we've been sitting chatting for a bit on his mountain bike. Um, so he said he watches a bit of YouTube and that and he knows Damien, the Fell Wanderer and um, a few others like. He says he's going to be channel check out so if you're watching mate I know this will be a few weeks down the line this video, but hello mate. Um, yeah, and as you can hear, the rain started. So I'm sat underneath the canopy. I'm sat underneath the canopy in any rate. So just about to finish off my second can, and then I'm going to have a nice Jack Daniels. There's a little bit of a breeze kicked up again, so I'm happy with that because the mozzies come out before and I was getting savaged. Um, obviously, I've just got some red coals on the fire there. I've put a bit of wood on, so obviously that's just smouldering. So there's a nice bit of smoke coming off that as well. But yeah, nice peaceful night. It's the temperature's dropped a little bit. Let's have a look and see what it says. Yeah, it's about 13 degrees now. Sorry, about 13 degrees. So. It's, it's, it's it is dropping, so I think my old softy jacket will be coming out soon. Like they're way muzzy, well not muzzy, midges, so because the lights are trapped them, you see. And here I go, waffle, waffle, waffle. But yeah, this is fantastic. This it's looking a bit misty over the back end there. I've just been sat and watching loads of rabbits run around on the field before as well. So I'll definitely be coming up here again. Uh, and bring me the air rifle for us and do a bit of catch and cook. Obviously there's a lot of stigma about people shooting rabbits and k killing them and eating them on YouTube but <laughs> my mate Chris wants to come up and any wait up here so I'll be bringing him. Yeah, I think this rain's getting set for the night now. Um, I'll check me up and see what it says, the weather forecast. But if the mozzies keep on biting the waiters like they are now, are they jumping on the inner side of me shelter? Um, I'll see if this chair fits in so I can sit on it. And then happy days like. But yeah, I'm just going to finish up this car and sit and listen to a few tunes on uh, Spotify because my radio isn't picking a signal up yet. So I'm just listening to the classic 80s. Pitching. And uh, that's it really. So... I'll catch you in a while. Right, well, the rain's still going. About an hour later. Oh, I'm just drinking a Jack Daniels and Coke now. It's, uh, it's getting dark, as you can see. The fire's sort of going. I think you can see it on the, on the side of the thing there. It's just about going like smoke starting to come in to me shelter which isn't bloody good so the winds just changed total direction as you can see so I think because the winds changing direction I can feel the rain coming underneath me top because obviously it's not it's not a massive area but it's it's big enough but I've got it high up on this side um, to give it somewhere to sit under I think what I might be doing is I might be dropping dropping this down um, and then zipping it down a bit as well but got to test these things haven't you obviously it's a bit different charm a bit more new open compared to what I was when I was in the woodland so I'm going to get a lot more wind coming through I'm going to get a lot more rain getting drawn through as well but hopefully it'll be nice and dry inside. I've got a synthetic sleeping bag in any way, so it'll be easy to dry. And if it gets wet, then it gets wet, but it'll still keep us warm. 
not that it's freezing in any way, like it's about what, 13 degrees or something now. I'll put my finger away inside the shelter. So I'm starting to tidy things up now. And uh, this is going to be the last bit of recording for tonight. So I'm just going to sit and chill. I'm just going to move you around a second. Excuse the camera action. But as you can see, I don't know if you can see the rain coming down. Right, you can a little bit like I suppose. Yeah, it's getting heavier. And I think it's going to be on all night. As you can see, the fire's going to treat there as well. Oh, happy days like. But, like I said, this is going to be the last recording for the night. And I see us in the morning. We'll see what the weather's going to be like then, eh? Oh, pardon me. I'm trying to spin his around, like. But anyway, that's it. Oh, nearly spilled it. Anyway, that's a good night from him and a good night from me. See us in the morning. Right, well, good morning everybody, it's quarter seven, and uh, yeah, fantastic sleep last night. The only problem I've had is the bottom of my sleeping bag, which I'm glad it's a synthetic one, because it'll dry out quicker, but um, obviously it's been touching the side of the tent there, and it's, it's a bit, it's not soaking, but it's a bit, a bit damp like. But uh, yeah, message to oneself. Bring me a little lightweight bivy bag with us and put that on inside of here. Because obviously it's only a one skin tent sort of thing, isn't it? So, but other than that, like, it's bone dry down on the corner. Where's the last time it had a leak there? So that's happy days. There's no water down at the bottom part. Obviously, excuse the pee bottle there. Um, yeah, so absolutely brilliant. Set up perfect this time. But yeah, it's uh, not a bad morning. It's about 15 degrees on the clock. So that's happy days like. Nice and peaceful. Had some weird dreams though. Had dreams that a big bunch of people turned up and started swimming in front of in front of the big tent like <laughs> I had to take a when I woke up I had to take a look at the river just to see if it was anybody there. <laughs> and then I had wake or I had um, a dream of big things brushing past the back of me tent and all that and the cows but there wasn't any like and just some of the weird things going on in my head. But yeah, really good sleep last night. I think I only woke up twice to be quite honest. I think that was just causing me dreams uh, and obviously a pee. Well than that, happy days like. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack away all unessential kit, get myself waking up a bit and uh, get a brew on, get some porridge on the go and then uh, think about packing up and going. I have brought some me uh, my little shoes were his, like for like walking around and water and things and a pair of shorts I might go for a dip I might not like I'll see how I feel oh. but anyway no waffling from me I see when I get a brew on Right, I'm going for my first ever wild swim on camera. It's cool. <laughs> Breathe in, Jimmy. Breathe in. 
fine physique of a man. <laughs> Watch this, I'll probably get halfway in and bottle it. But anyway, let's go and put it in. I haven't got my little handheld thing on here, like, so I'm just holding the camera, so I hope I didn't drop it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you fuck that. Oh, that's cold. Yep. First ever wild swim for Lundy's Wild Camp Stroke Bushcraft. I think it's a bit deeper up the top there, like, because it's quite shallow. But... Oh. Oh, it's quite slippy and all. Yeah, that's way slippy. Camera's gone all lower. So am I. Well, it's definitely cold. It's not very deep. Camera's gone all over the place, yeah. I'll tell you what, like it's slippy on the foot here, yeah, like. But just gonna go for it, I think. Let's have a look under the water, see what it's like. sit in this now I've not I've I've committed myself I've committed I've committed let's get a little bit deeper right well Go for it. Right, I'm going in. I'm just going to sit down because it's not that deep this in any way. But it'll be nice and refreshing, won't it? The rock to lean on. Oh, oh my God, that's cold. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's a, oh fuck it. Oh, that's cold. Oh. <sighs> 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 Right, lean back, lean back. Oh. 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 Oh, God. <coughs> Midgy. Oh. 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 Oh, that's, um, yeah, that's something different. Oh, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about the swearing. That's bloody cold, berries. But uh, yeah, it's refreshing to say the least. Um, but yeah, I can feel my body getting freezing bloody cold. Oh, bollocks to this. Use a lot of that day all this way and swimming all the time. My hat guns off to you. Is that smoking? Soaking. <laughs> it's bloody freezing. <laughs> Bollocks to that lake, but I tell you what though. Oh. Now let's get back. Right. Well, I, I've been in the water. That's enough for me. Uh, I'll leave the camera on. It's not that deep, and um, to be quite honest, I'm glad. It was uh, 
They're freezing! <laughs> There's Bert Outdoors here. Look at this face! <laughs> I thought, well, I'm, I'm at my favourite river, so I thought I'd give it a go. I'm, I'm sucking in my belly as best I can, like. <laughs> but yeah, actually, now I'm out of the water, I feel nice and refreshed. I don't feel freezing cold. Uh, I am cold, but I'm not freezing, like. So now anyway, I'm going to go up there, get the kettle on, and I'll get myself dry, put some clean clothes in there on, and then you never know, one day I might do a proper swim in a big river. I'll have to bring my own bands though, because I'm not a great swimmer. But yeah, first one, it's a first, I wouldn't say a wild swim, it's a wild dunk. So I should have went on my belly like and had a little paddle, but it is what it is, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> on dry land just to be all like it yeah just turn this other camera off first time I've ever had a GoPro in the water do you know why that is it's the first time I've been in the water but yeah and um, my hat goes off to Ash Outdoors Ash if you're watching mate and um, everybody else Dan from um, Camp like bushcraft, he's done a few wild camps and now he's misses. And uh, there's a few of those. I think it could be something to do, like, because I, I tell you what, I definitely feel nice and fresh now. But uh, yeah, starting to get a little bit nippy. And uh, I'm going to get dried. I'm going to head back over to the shelter. I've got some warm clothes sitting there, nice dry warm clothes, right, to put on. Oh. I get sore, but stop looking at me nipples. Ooh. <laughs> oh, look at that. I, I think this is the first time I've been practically naked on me on me channel. Oh. I've had these shorts on for ages there, and anyway, I'm starting to waffle a shite now, aren't I? So I'll catch you in a bit. Right, I've had to put my midge net on because uh, they were coming out in force. I was getting proper savage when I was getting dried and that. And that's a strange feeling standing in the open, bollocky naked. Anybody could walk past at any moment. Uh, so, but I, the mozzies are out. They're absolutely killing us. So, and I've got just a bag of porridge. Or just to get a bit of stickiness inside. And I've got a nice cup of tea. Nah, that's not going to work, is it? So, I'm going to sit here. With my other view, eat my porridge, drink my cup of tea, and I'm gonna get myself cleaned up in that, packed away, and then I'll uh, I'll see you in a bit. All right, nothing else to see or do. Um, I want to head back over to Newcastle. I need to pop into a shop, get a couple of supplies, and then I'm heading off to my private woods uh, for a hammock camp, and then. Me mucker Rooney will be joining us later on tonight when he's finished work. So we'll be, be sitting around a nice fire tonight, having a laugh. So, as we always do. Because <laughs> he's a nutter! But anyway, I better not shout and bawl like that because I'm in the middle of the countryside and people think I'm crackers. Alright, so I'll just catch us later when I start getting packed up. Alright. <laughs> Please be kind on the comments about the beached whale. Right, that's me all done now, all packed away as ever, leave no trace. The only thing I'm leaving is a little bit of flat grass there. There's no scorch marks where I've had the fire and there's no rubbish lying around because everything is in that bag, including me wet gear off me swim. So, 
Right, that's another one in the bag. So once again, everybody, thank you very much for watching. And if you've enjoyed it, please do give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. There's a bell notification there as well. There's a lot of you that are watching my channel aren't hitting that bell notification. All right, there's only about 20% of the viewers out of my subscriptions, nearly 4,000 subscribers now. All right, there's only, I'd say about 25% of you have hit that bell notification. So do hear it because it does help the channel, okay? Um, also, check the links down below. All right, there's a link there for buy me a coffee if you would like to support the channel in other ways rather than just watching the channel and commenting. There's a Facebook group link there as well. I've got a, a kind of few people in the group now. Uh, you can post anything on there to do with the outdoors. Okay, and also I've got an Instagram, Insta, an Instagram account as well. If you would like to come and follow us on there, that would be champion as well. All right, because I'll do little short videos on that as well off my phone and post a lot of pictures that, I, that you won't see on here. Okay, so once again, just like to say thank you very much everybody for all the support it's really appreciated we're getting closer and closer to that 4,000 mark now all right getting really close just another hunt just another 130 people that join like but it's getting there slowly but surely and it's all down to use all right without the viewers there wouldn't be a channel so thank you every each and every single one of you okay it's really really appreciated and anyway i'm going to waffle mode battery's about to die and I'm going to see you later. Thanks again.